Welcome. Welcome, as you can see, we're coming to you from Kempinski for the official launch of Obis Ventures. And with us right here is the beautiful Mwalimu Recho. I know. I, do you know, it's actually in the car. Uh, I thought it would be too noisy <laughs> for this kind of a setup and event, so I left it in the car. So you move with it around. I have like four bells. There's one in the studio, uh -huh. two in my home, <laughs> the ones that are crystal bells, uh -huh. they're very delicate. And then uh, another one in my car, uh -huh. the metallic one. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're looking good. Thank you, Trudy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here? I mean, it's always great seeing innovation, uh -huh. new people getting into any industry. Yeah. I'm always excited for that. And I'm here to witness what they have to offer in the event space. Uh -huh. Yes, Obi's Ventures, of course, venturing into the event space. Mm. You've been there. Molly, mm. what can you say about uh, maybe Kenyan events generally? Mm. Mm. I think we really are pulling our weight yeah. when it comes to the event space. Mm -hmm. Um, the innovation is there. We're really smart uh -huh. when it comes to the kind of technology to mm -hmm. operate and everything. I mean, we've got, um, like for us at uh, Radio Africa, you know, Radio Africa events, um, the state-of-the-art technology, stage, lighting and all of that. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to see, okay, what else is out there? Mm -hmm. What is the next frontier? Uh -huh. What is the next technology? Uh -huh. And yeah, I mean, listen, Nairobi, Kenya is honestly the capital of the African continent. Sure. And so I'm always proud mm -hmm. to see the next step, what is out there for us, mm -hmm. for the entire world to see. Uh -huh. Because we represent Africa out uh -huh. there as, as Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Malimu, well, have you ever been to an event and you literally didn't like the, like everything there for the Or anything, <laughs> just like, yeah. Oh, uh, they're always the startup events. I mean, you have to accord them a bit of grace and understanding mm -hmm. because, yeah, I've been there. Um, I'm always humbled enough to just appear either way, even if they are unknown, because I know it's important for them to get that mileage, mm -hmm. that coverage. Yeah. So, as somebody who who has the realm to yote, ananza, any startup, if they invite me, I'll come. I will witness. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the event, I will give my pointers because I've been in this game for over 17 years now. Uh -huh. And working with you know, the event space, I can always chip in my you know, um, um, comments and everything. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I really truly believe that we do step up when it comes to the event space. Uh -huh. yeah. With that said, Mwalimu, I don't know whether you have um, maybe something that you really, really wish to see in Kenyan events. Uh, maybe you've seen it somewhere else and you mm. say, like, I, I, I would really love to see this in a oh, Kenyan event. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dubai. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. They are in a league of their own. Um, when it comes to the event space, when it comes to the kind of technology they play. I was at the Dubai Expo, um, was it a year, two years back? And what I saw was mind-blowing and mind-opening as well. When it comes to the kind of showcases that they do yeah. with AI technology, with uh, physical technology as well, and they are able to combine the two, I believe this is where Kenya needs to be placed because I was there and Kenya was also in the exhibition of the Expo Hall, yeah, in the Expo Hall. But we, we did not live up to the standards uh -huh. that Dubai <laughs> were able to showcase, you understand me? Uh -huh. So my dream, my what I aspire is that we will get to those levels and honestly, truly, I know we can. So we have the brains, yeah. we have the technology, yeah. we have KOT. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we cannot achieve. So you believe through all B ventures we're gonna hit there. We're gonna of get course. there. Of course, yeah. I mean it will be it will be a run for your money compared to Radio Africa events. Uh -huh. But <laughs> I'm here to witness what you have to to um, showcase. You understand me? Um, so I cannot comment on anything because I haven't seen what yeah. you know Obi's yeah. yeah events have got to offer. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's always good to have variety, 
and I'm here to witness that. I've been invited, so nimeali ko acha ni kuje ni one what is to, uh, yeah on the table. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last last thing, just talk to the maybe your fans. Yeah, your fans. Kenyans in general. Oh. Maybe there is something we should expect from Malim. You know. She, we love you. Thank you. For that. <laughs> Thank Can I you. Think we from you. First of all, let me just say I love it whenever I see you ladies doing your thing mm -hmm. on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of my days when I was starting out at uh, Homeboys Radio. Mm -hmm. And I applaud each one of you for sacrificing to be here and just, you know, mm -hmm. being a part of this. Um, the other thing is, of course, to thank my fans that have been with me and walked the journey with me for over now 17 years. 17 years. Yes, it's been 17 years, ladies. And I'm so blessed to know that they are still rocking with me, um, still riding with me even now as I'm on uh, KISS FM. And the sky is not even the limit. We are aiming for over and above. And let it be an inspiration to those that are also content creators, yeah. aspiring radio presenters, mm -hmm. podcasters. Mm -hmm. We got this. Mm -hmm. Let's take it all the way. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Malimu. Thank you so much, ladies. You look so lovely. You do. Well, have, they yeah. have they told you? <laughs> yeah. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.